story to tell. The arms race of the Cold War gave birth to different variants of fighter aircraft. The most daring project designed by the Soviet Union's Myasishchev Aircraft Construction Bureau between 1969 and 1972, known as the M25 project, was radically different from contemporary war philosophies. It was an attack aircraft designed to employ a completely new kind of warfare, destroying enemies with its sonic boom. There were quite a few rumors about this daring Soviet project, also known as the Infernal Scythe. To fight the enemy in open spaces it was proposed to build a special plane, that can fly at supersonic speeds at minimum altitudes. They formed by shockwave was to serve as a factor affecting and influencing the enemy. The flight of the aircraft at a height of 30 to 50 meters could destroy or at least temporarily incapacitate manpower in the strip up to a width of 100 to 150 meters. The aircraft was seen as convenient and a good alternative of conventional weapons and tactical nuclear weapons. In the second half of the 60s in the relevant foreign media reported on the development of new attack aircraft, capable of attacking the enemy without conventional weapons. These machines had to have extremely high power to weight ratio, allowing it to reach supersonic speeds at low and at extremely low altitudes. One flew over the enemy positions, the plane had to create a powerful shock wave and to destroy manpower and equipment unprotected, and destroy light buildings. In the sketches, the M25 should have large dimensions, and corresponding takeoff weight. He needed powerful engines, able to provide supersonic speed at low altitude. Should provide some units to create a shock wave. Diagrams of some variants of the M25 has been published, and they became the basis for the famous drawings. The M25 was designed with no more than four turbofan engines. In combat mode, speed attack aircraft had to reach Mach 1.4. Consider the optimal layout of the propulsion with the tail placement of the motors and the dorsal intakes. When flying at an altitude of 50 meters, it generates a shock wave sufficient to defeat manpower in an open area. According to the calculations, these waves could even break towers with the tanks. Work on Project M25 lasted until 1972, and during this time, all organizations participating in the program managed to conduct a lot of research and study the many variants of the aircraft. However, all these efforts did not lead to the expected results. The project has encountered a number of difficulties, from which at that time it was impossible to get rid of. The technical requirements for such a machine were too complicated. The M25 will fly at supersonic speeds at low altitudes with winding terrain. All this imposes special requirements to the control systems or even lead to the required use of autopilot. In addition, the funding for the program was very significant, so the project was forced to stop. In 1972, 